Hey everybody, this is Paul Flynn of Megiddo Radio. We're going to do a quick vlog here on a sad story about uh, Rochester Cathedral. Crazy golf course is open. And I um, suppose people following many developments in um, the modern church. Look, things like this are not unique to this point in history. We also have to realize that there are many points in history, churches... It is a building, I suppose, at the end of the day, but at the same time, I think there's things we can learn from it. It talks about um, in kentonline.co.uk, an article by Rachel Dixon, uh, Rochester Cathedral, crazy golf course, and this is um, an Anglican... an Anglican uh, cathedral. And it says here today, a, f a crazy, a free crazy golf course is opened in an unlikely place. Rochester Cathedral is open to the most holy nine-hole course in Kent. The Adventure Golf Challenge has been set up in the place of worship, medieval nave. Um, and this was, there was some controversy about this before. The, the mail, the, this article that I'm reading from Kent Online is fairly recent, uh, 27th of July. The Daily Mail wrote about this as well. Hole-in-one, nine-hole crazy golf course to be installed in Rochester Cathedral over the summer to encourage younger visitors. Um, Rochester Cathedral in Kent will host a crazy golf course in its nave this summer. Other initiative includes 40-foot 40 40 helter-skelter in gin and Prosecco Festival. Anglican leaders hope they will appeal to young people and help congregation numbers. Now I can hear everybody's going to go, I can't believe they're doing this. Um, why? There's many reformed churches who are doing miniature versions of this. Okay. What, why, why are they doing this? Now you might say, they're not interested in the Bible, etc., and so on. It's nothing to do with the Word of God. Do you think the churches get to that point overnight? And I know there's been historical problems with the Anglican Church for a very long time, kind of systemic problems that go back a long, long way. But um, this is appealing to the will of man above the will of God. Just look at one text of scripture here to try and explain it. Because do you know what? If we think we're so great in the Reformed Church, we'll go exactly the same direction. And do you know what? We're kind of going in that direction a lot. What happens in a lot of Reformed churches, we use gimmicks, we use entertainment, we use sports in order to attract young people towards the church. Tell me that's not happening. Now, it's not to the same degree that it's happening here. Anglican Church, just like, hey, put on some sports. Yeah, we're going to, you know, crazy golf. We're just going to get people in. But in this happens in Arminian churches in, in the Independent Fundamental Baptist, you know, kind of wheel of fortune from the pulpit of Hiles Anderson, what's the name of her? Uh, First Baptist Church, uh, Hammond, Indiana. I remember that kind of stuff being reported on. Why? Because you're appealing to the will of man. John 1, verses 12 and 13 says, But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. It is the glorious gospel. You do not project confidence in the gospel if you decorate it if you because i i know by even just reporting on this crazy golf it's, oh that, that's crazy i can't believe people do that look at your own look at our own churches today how many of them dangle so it's the true gospel going forth right as opposed to probably what's been put out here but they're using entertainment to, to attract people right what happens when the church, the much more conservative church, I will add, 
but is using bait, using something to ordain and ornate and make the already glorious gospel, what? You're trying to attract people with what? A lure, something other than the gospel, something other than right, something, you know, that some need they have in their life, some some classes for, I don't know, English or whatever else it is. Come on! This happens all over the place. And these things are fine in and of themselves. Is it? Is there anything wrong with going bowling down the road with a few friends or their Christians? No, nothing at all. Absolutely not. It's great. But when we decorate and when we attempt to attract people towards Christianity, with what? Gimmicks and other things besides the gospel. I'm sorry, but don't expect the Lord to bless it. It's been Paul Flynn. May God bless you all.